Hello my friends, Nico here from Neural Frames. I'm the founder of an AI music video generation platform and today we have some really exciting new updates. So let's create an AI music video together using all the new features and, and exploring them a little bit. We will go through the whole process. I promise it won't take long. We will create a music video like this one. Okay, cool. We are neuroframes.com. Let's select an AI model. I um, use today realistic vision. It's very good for producing realistic images. Let's do something like vinyls. Um, let's remove the negative prompt for now. Let's click pin my prompt. This will just enhance the prompt a little bit. Now uh, we're going to use the 9 to 16 format to make it a bit more TikTok like. And actually we have this new turbo mode here which increases rendering time by up to 4x, which is massive. It's the, the image quality degrades a little bit, but for us today, this is worth it. Oh, those are nice. I like these ones. Let's go with this one. Now we're in the video editor itself. First thing we can do is upload the song. Now the stems are being extracted automatically. Cool, and here we are. The stems are extracted, which is cool. We have an arpeggiator song here. Let's listen to it once. Cool, great. Um, yeah, we have the prompt here, the first prompt, the first image also. Now, um, we do have some presets, which is new also in NeuroFrames, um, for instance, and, and you can see how they look like, for instance, trippy zoom would look like this one, where's a smooth zoom, or something like a rotation around an object, infinite rotation. These presets will change over time, we will adjust them, just know we have them. There's also a new slider here, it's called Flicker. So you saw in all the examples I had, it's quite flickering. And now we launched the feature that actually you can adjust the flickering. And, and this is kept in, in these presets here, for instance. Morph Ultra Still. Isn't that awesome? We got rid of the flickering. You see the flicker is um, put down all the way to 1 before it was 100. Yeah, this is in percent. And actually, for this one, we will actually go to 0. So the images won't change at all. But we have a little trick that I will uh, come back in a second to. Also, with a low flicker, you want to make sure that the strength is high up. And also, the, the camera movement with such a high strength is, is disabled. Unless you pull up the edge echo, then it becomes enabled. And we have a blog post. It's in the video description um, why this is exactly. But for now, you, you can just trust me. And we can go without camera motion for now. Uh, this is the cleanest, purest, non-flicker way. Cool. Okay, so we do want a bit of change, though. So what I will do is... I will add a bit of um, flicker modulation on the bass. So with the bass, uh, we will actually modulate the flicker a little bit. Let's put it to 1 maybe here, the amplitude. So it will go up and down 1% uh, around the flicker. You can also see how much it actually affects it. So here it would be 0 0.2, which is not much, right? It goes up to 100. It's, it's really not much. Let's see if it's too little. We can also play some more prompts. Maybe we can ask ChatGPT for inspiration. Hi ChatGPT, I want to create an AI music video with concentric Ah, CDs. CDs is a great idea, planets is a great idea, mandala patterns, that's awesome, pie charts, fruit slices, flowers, very nice, we have a lot to do. Let's actually start with CDs, right, as we are starting with vinyls, I think that makes sense. Maybe we don't need to change so much, we can just replace vinyl records with uh, CDs. I think that sounds good. And yeah, maybe we can just render this and uh, see what happens. Now the first render is done, let's have a look. I think especially the second part is a bit boring. There's not much change. 
And this is because we have the flicker so low and then also the base is actually quite low here. So what we can do is um, we can put another modulation box here, shorten this one, put another one, and then just uh, increase the amplitude, let's say fourfold maybe. Um, and then hope that this will actually do something. Okay, and then we can already move on. Now that the drums are coming in soon, right? Let's add another object. What did ChatGPT propose? Let's say speakers. We can say vibrant, colorful speakers, varying designs, pimp my prompt. Maybe also concentric in there. We, we keep this one. Or actually, maybe we can put it to other now. I think there's a bit more action on other. And then what we need to do is uh, put stuff on the kick drum also. That's cool, I think. Flicker, let's say 30 on the kick drum. Then there will be really quite some change on the kick. Let's drag this out a bit longer. And then we see what happens. We re-render this section from this new modulation box on. And then I see you on the other side. My friends, this is fantastic. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Look at these beautiful speakers. Now what we need, there's the snare drum and we need also uh, modulation on the snare drum for sure. Uh, and I also, we, we do it very simple today. We, we're going to be simple. I'm a simple man. We just increase this to, to let's say, 150. More modulation on the snare than on the kick drum. We can even, yeah, that's good, I think. Um, now note that the, the amplitude is also lower of the snare drum here. So it will actually not go all the way up to 100. It will go to 60 in general. So it's like double the height of the other one. A little bit more than double. That's great. Okay, let's add another prompt even. Uh, what else did we have? Mr. ChatGPT, what did you propose? Maybe record spools? That's cool. Vibrant, high quality of a collection of colorful and uniquely designed record spools. We can add this here, I think that's good. And now we just re-render from wherever the snare started. Let's go. Okay, so we rendered quite a bit here. Um, it's pretty cool, I think, especially with the flowers. Um, one other thing I did is uh, I reduced the modulation here to a, a little bit because there's this break here in the music. Now, one thing we could additionally try before we call it a day is um, zooming in on the snare drum once. I told you that movement is a bit tricky in these settings, but let's just try. And the way we're going to do this is now this is a bit advanced, but say, bear with me. We need the edge echo to zoom in with such a high strength. As I said, there's a blog post in the description that goes th uh, through the details why this is the case. So what we will do is, on the snare drum, we will increase the edge echo, edge echo, by whatever, something high. And at the same time, we also zoom in. So let's say 10, 20 even. I think that's good. We can even keep the flicker there, I think. Whoa, I did not expect that to work so well. Check it out. You can see very nicely that the zoom actually works well and I, I think it's a cool effect i hope this was helpful to you i will put post the full video of this towards the end of this video you can watch it there um, let me know what you think of the new feature and of these tutorial videos if we should make more of them or if we should better leave it uh, thanks a lot for watching and happy rendering